as I was saying, uh, we are starting our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. We, uh, I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, we did a Pokemon Randomizer, or Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke earlier this year in preparation, but now we're going to go through the remakes playing the base regular game with a, uh, with a Nuzlocke twist. I have started the game a little on my own and I, in my own file, but that's not a Nuzlocke, so we're going to see how this goes. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to also, I didn't read the dialogue when I did the randomizer, but we're going to actually read the dialogue this time, so. Hello there, it's so nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. That's not a good voice from, is it? My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh... We will go with... Man, it's, it's very limited. I can't quite make it look like myself because I have brown eyes and I don't have the darker skin. Well, this is probably as close as I can get. Uh, and we are going to go with Shad. Your name is Shad. Okay, so you're Shad. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Okay, what should we name our rival? I'll take suggestions, otherwise I'll come up with something. Uh, but if there is no suggestions... Hey there, dragon! Welcome! Just in time! You, you have a... I, I'm taking suggestions right now for rival name. <laughs> for the, this fella right here. Also known as Barry. Hope you're doing well, Dragon. Yeah, it has been a while. It's great to see you. Bye. Hope things are alright. Uh, if nobody has a suggestion, I will just put one in myself. Uh, Bob? <laughs> Bob works. Bob, is it? That's your friend's name? You don't have much for this dragon? It's fine. Alright, Shad, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless pe Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even some about your something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. I'm glad you're doing a bit better, dragon. There's been a lot of good games coming out this month, at least. There's been Mario Party, uh, Shin Megami Tensai, th this. Uh, despite the exploration of his best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Okay. Not this game quite yet, but when you do, you'll do your own Nuzlocke. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing how it goes. Uh, I just got it two days ago because my copy came really late. And in my own personal file, I'm not even at the second gym yet. Okay, I, I don't need to read all that. That's 
I wasn't sure if there was going to be a potion in the PC like the old games. Might be a Christmas present. Oh, that'd be a nice Christmas present, yeah. I have a number of games on my Christmas list. Chad, Bob came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Well, that Switch pissed not an OLED. No. Though I'm playing on an OLED, but you can't tell because it's docked. Uh, curious what's on the TV. You won't read. Uh, just the contest. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, Shad. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Oh, way to rub it in, Mom. So slow. We will go over here because this is where we... Ah! Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Shad. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, Shad, I'm finding you one million pokies if you're late. Oh, jeez, forgot something. Okay. Well, let's follow him in. Uh, hi, Shad. Are you looking for Bob? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Better take my bag and guidebook, so... Oh, hey, Shad. We're going to the lake. We'll be waiting on the road. It's 10 million pokey fa fine if you're late. Jeez, it's going up in price. Uh, we're so slow. I want running shoes. But we don't have running shoes, so we must walk. Hey, you saw that news report that was on the TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That show got me to thinking. I bet a local lake has a Pokemon in it like that too. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna find a Pokemon like that. I'm rocking so slow. But Bob gets to walk slow for once. Alright, to the lake, let's find us a red Gyarados. I don't think there's a red Gyarados in this lake. Uh, okay. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? Must be exciting again. There is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Red Gyarados. Yeah, that, in the original they were looking for Red Gyarados, too. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about? Those two... Huh? Shad, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We'll be in there long enough for wild Pokemon to come out. You colossal idiot. Just take... Have you never gone at... The encounter rate's insane in these games. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who are they? I heard them say Professor. Ah, p Pokemon! What's going on? That continuity for Gen 2, yeah. Yeah, it was a reference to the Lake of Rage. Look, they're Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want then? Okay, so leading up to this, I've given a lot of thought into the starters. I already know which one I'm gonna pick, but here is my mindset between the three. Uh, Turtwig is my favorite of the three starters. Just so cute, look at him. Little, little, little grass turtle. I also like the grass ground combo. And I, I, I've picked him the most in the games, but I am using Turtwig in my individual run right now. Chimchar, 
uh, is my least used one. There's the upside that there are not many fire Pokemon in uh, Sinnoh, at least not until Platinum. Even Platinum probably didn't have a ton, but add more. Uh, they've added a couple uh, in this one that are not, like, that were usually post game, but there's still not a lot. Downside being, he's not any help in the first gym. Your Piplup fan? Well, third is Piplup. Piplup, I strongly was considering for a while. Because, well, as I said, I'm already using Turtwig in my file. Piplup will be useful in the first gem, though he's not useful in the second one. Uh, grass and water are dimin both are diminishing value because there are a lot. There's a decent chunk of grass Pokemon, especially early game. There's a lot of water Pokemon, especially mid to late game. And water steel, well, it's nice defensively. It's not a good offensive type. The Empoleon looks does look really cool. That being said, I've ultimately decided we are going to go with Chimchar because of the lack of fire Pokemon. And I haven't really used Chimchar anyways. I might have used him once maybe way back when. Uh, Firefighting's unfortunately a really good combo even though it was spammed but this was only the second gen with it. Uh, and the hard part will be getting through the first gym because it'll be dead weight, so it'll well for a line whatever we get there. But going on from there, Chimchar will have more and more use as the game goes on. So yeah, we're going with Chimchar. We also did kind of did a, had a Piplup in our <laughs> randomizer. Okay, that's Wild Starly. Okay, Scratch and Leer, oh boy. Okay, so this battle is not very exciting to spam Scratch. Usually it takes three turns. I think it takes three turns regardless of who you choose here. And you can theoretically lose this battle, but you have to be stupid in spamming your non-damaging move until they kill you. I think the game continues if you lose that battle, you just don't get the XP. Fuh, your Chimchar totally rocked! But my Piplup is way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokémon. But we had to use them, those people wouldn't, won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did you use the Pokemon that weren't here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take the briefcase for now. Uh, well, she makes him sound very unreasonable. What was that about? I don't know what's going on. Shad, let's get out of here. The Pokemon got hurt from that battle. It's not your Pokemon. What do you mean you don't know what's going on? We we used her, like, there's nothing confusing here. <laughs> if we can attack one of the Pokemon, he might get in trouble. Okay, you go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon, they're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. By the way, my goal for tonight is to try to get through the first gem. I think we can do that. Like the history acting bleeding through. I've been doing so many vaguely British accents that all my accents are being vaguely British, but I'm, I'm trying to work on it. Hey, it's those people. It's the old guy staring at us. Hmm. I heard from Don. You used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Um, okay, Professor, wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. What was that all, that all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Shad, we should go home too. What's up, dear? 
Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that you, both you and Bob are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandgem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I also hear he's quite intimidating. Shad, I think you need to visit him in Sandgem Town. He doesn't seem that intimidating, but everybody's acting freaked out, so... He needs to properly explain why he had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Lovely toaster, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, Shad, put these on. A pair of running shoes. Going to Sandgem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, that's how shoes work. Tilt the left stick. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Wasn't that just nifty? Man, I didn't know how to use my shoes. They didn't come with instructions, so I didn't know to hold the left stick. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Now we can run. Now this is much better. Heard running shoes work well in this game. Yeah, this is the running shoes. It's actually hard to walk in this game because you have to tilt slightly. But this isn't a game where I care about walking much. Dang it. Wild Starly. I don't want to waste... I don't want to get too much XP from wild Pokemon, because there is experience share. But it'll also be a chore to try to run away from everyone, so... Especially because we might not succeed, and then... Then we're just stuck until we succeed or lose a Pokemon. Oh, oh! I did... No, I... The Nuzlocke doesn't start yet. I, I, I have an overlay to show it. But I will add it once we at least get a chance to nickname our little friend. But do start thinking of nicknames for our little Chimchar. I'm going over here because there's an invisible potion that I have memorized right there. And potions are a commodity in a Nuzlocke. So yeah, it doesn't start until Pokeballs, but I'll put the Chimchar on the, uh, in the overlay once we have a nickname. Dang it, George. That might be a good one, a good name, yeah. Chimpy. <laughs> a, uh, a Pokemon blogger I read who recently did a challenge run of Diamond uh, started with Chimchar and he nicknamed his Chimchar King Louie. Which at first I was like, oh, that's clever, because King Louie's a monkey. And then I didn't think about it until like halfway through the run that, wait a minute, King Louie's obsessed with getting fire to make him more like man, and Chimchar is a fire monkey. I was like, dang it, that was clever, more clever than I thought. Pokemon, uh, I, I'm kind of skipping this, sorry, I shouldn't have skipped that, but it's not super important, but they're giving us potions. Yes, plural. In the in the original game, I think she gave you one potion. In this, she gives you ten. Which is nice. What, what is... How's our health? Our health's fine enough. We can get out of here. There we go. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor's waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Thud. What the? Oh, it's you, Shad. That old guy. He's not so scary as much as he's totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Shad. I'm out of here. She see you later. Oh, what was that? Your friends sure seem like to be really impatient. Anyway, let's go inside. Currently, unless uh, another suggestion comes in, I'll go with George because I like that more than Chumpy. Finally you've come. Shad Wizard, let me see that Pokemon again. We are standing very uncomfortably close. Like, sit six feet, dude. Six feet. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright, then I'll give that Chimchar to you as a gift. 
Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. Chimchar's nickname. We are going to go with George, unless somebody has something better before I finish typing it in. Not that George is a bad name. George is a perf perfectly good name for a monkey. Okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yes. Your friend Bob told me what happened to the lake. Lake. Wow, that's other weird. I heard you battled very well despite it being a verse time. And for what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. So glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. What would you What would you do if we weren't kind? You gonna beat us up? <laughs> um, let's move to the main topic. There's something I want to do for me. <laughs> she, she's just like, if you're mean to them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... And just like, no, no, let's, let's just keep going. I don't, I don't care. I don't care, Don. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Um, yeah, sure, fine. Mm, good answer. I mean, you did give me a Pokemon, so fine. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Shadda, ask the eagle everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too! When you walked up Route 201 with Pokemon, with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I love it! She's just like, I got one too! And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Shad, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If we'd have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. No. No, we wouldn't. Because yours depends on what I pick, but okay. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I'll also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Shad. Okay. This is, uh... What is it? This is just a random NPC. But this is Don's father, I believe. Yeah. Uh... Okay, Shad, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and, the, and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Uh, is the game music loud enough? I think it's probably... Yeah, I think it's loud enough. L let me know if the game music is not loud enough. But This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Shad, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, well, that's right, Shad. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping po Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel, travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now! Wait till she gets out of camera so they can despawn the model. Uh, is my Pokemon hurt again? Yeah, it's, it's not. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Oh, oh, oh! Crap, I still keep forgetting. Uh, the Poke Link. Need to. Add Chimchar. Uh, I'm not going to bother keeping track of their HP in here. Ah, uh, should I? Is there a way to... Did 
Dang it. I guess I guess I will because it, it'll look weird in the overlay. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not gonna keep track of their current HP. Uh. I don't know. Maybe I. Let, let me actually. Oops. Not. Uh, that's definitely not right. Let me uh, see if I can change so it looks better. Just, just give me a second. I want to see if I can. If there's a way to make it look that doesn't have the just so shows the uh, Pokemon. I so it doesn't show the health in the level. So just as the Pokemon and the nickname, because then I don't have to keep changing it, and it's not going to look weird. Uh, no, not that. Just a sec. I'm looking through the options. Not that. Uh. I do want to... Uh, I do want to do that. Let me just see if there's a way to... Uh, a way to make it less... Okay. I guess I'll try to keep track of the... Uh, I won't keep track of current HP in the, in the HUD. But I will have the max HP and the level, which should be five. Okay. So I'll try to keep that updated. I might forget now and then, but I have to manually do it now because we're not in a uh, an emulator. <laughs> Okay, so going from, well, first of all, before we have our encounter, let's go over here and, and talk to, uh, talk to, uh, Don. Shad, did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? You didn't, did you? No, you're, uh, fine. Oh, sh shove me. Jeez. She literally just shoved me. Like, I think that happens in the, in the sprites, but one of the 3D is more apparent. It's just a shove. Okay, I'm gonna take two, 20 Pokeballs, which will give me two Premier Balls. We have plenty of potions. I don't think there's anything that could poison or paralyze me yet, but just in case. Granted, oh, that, and that means actually the Nuzlocke has officially started because we have Pokeballs. So, first things first, well, before I actually get my encounter here, let's go back and meet with Mother. Welcome home, Shad. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, Shad? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Shad. I've got something that you'll find useful. Guidebook? That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. 
Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Shad. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. Jeez, pretty guilt trip me. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometime. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Okay. Excuse me, is my little Bob here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so strong and reckless, I at least want him to take this. Not to worry, Shad will deliver that to him. I will. Won't you, Shad? I mean, I guess. I've been volunteered to. Oh, really? You do that for me? Shad, please take this to Bob for me. Parcel. Bye-bye, Shad. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Tribal Life City. Can you please take that to my Bob? Oh, Shad. I'm forgetting something important. A hat! Yes, the hat always did suit you well, Shad. Now off you go. Okay. So. First things first. We actually have two encounters. Because there is one at Lake Verity. And we could, in theory, wait until later in the game when we have access to rod or surfing and check the water and have that be the encounter. But after I thought about it, honestly, I wa want to get more of these junky encounters out of the way so I'm not clogged up on the later route getting a Bidoo for a Starly. Not that Starly's actually that junky. Starly's pretty good. Well, when it fully evolves. Bidoof will never be super useful. But here we go! Wild Starly! Speak of the speak of the Starly. Okay. So we are gonna try to weaken it down. Hopefully we don't knock this out. Okay. And just in case, be start thinking of uh Starly names. For a girl Starly. Okay, that's as much as I can weaken it. I was really worried it was going to crit there. Uh, Pokeball. I think we got it. Nice. So if anybody has any nicknames for a Starly, feel free to suggest it now. Uh... Let me update George to... Oh, okay. hi there. Hi there, Lisa. Uh... La... La... Uh, La Lisa? La, La Lisa? How do you say the name you're suggesting? I... We can go with that. I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. Uh... And go up to level 6. Save. La Lisa. Okay. Welcome, how are you? Oh, and George Lord Ember. Nice. They flock in great numbers. They're small, they flap their wings with great power. Okay, so... La Lisa. An ad to my party, cool. So, while I don't know how the run is going to go, for now, Starly's a great addition to the party, so Lelisa's gonna have, yeah, gonna have a place on our team for a, while, a little while, I think, at least. Because, once again, Staraptor's a pretty good flying Pokemon. Right now, of course, we're still in the position that we have nothing for uh, the first gym leader because the first gym is rock. 
but we have plenty of roofs between now and then. And in fact, we get an encounter here, and it is a Bidoof. Bidoof will not be a long-term staple of our team. It'll be a spot filler for now. Uh, we're just gonna scratch. Okay. Oh, I need to add Lalisa into the inner life. Uh, how much? Which is level in the house? Level three, sixteen house. There we go. Cool. Uh. That's as good as we're gonna get it unless we switch to Lalisa and weaken a little more. But for now, let's try it. Just throwing a ball. Okay, Bidoof was caught. Good start. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It's more agile and active than it appears. Okay, Bidoof nicknames. Anybody have anything? It's a male Bidoof. Uh, if there is none, I can come up with one myself. Uh, I don't, I'm not seeing any, so unless before I submit, I'll check again, but if not, I will name him Heinz after Heinz Doofenshmirtz <laughs> from the show, if any is in verb, because he's a bidoof. Okay. Heinz been added to our party. Woo. Oh, okay. So, I'm, I'm going to, for now, keep Jim Jar at the front. I don't want to be careless right now. Though, so actually, I might want to switch somebody else to the front to... For catch, catching Pokemon, because we have another route we're about to enter that has gonna have our third encounter. There's a lot right at the start, but let's see how it goes. Let me first run down here to grab this antidote. Never know when we'll need them. Oops. Did I want to go in here? Oh, this is, uh... Yeah, this is Don's family. Okay. Now... Now Don's gonna talk to us. Well, that's right. Shad, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so please watch me, okay? Wild Bidoof. Well, now we're just sitting back and watching, because this is all... This is all Dawn. Imagine seeing a... I mean, it'd be a shiny Bidoof. Imagine seeing a shiny Bidoof in this and just being like, you just have to watch Dawn catch a shiny and be like, I, I wanted that shiny. Yeah, 
Okay. Bidoof was caught. <laughs> See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. Healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Shad, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. I had some. I've also already caught Pokemon, but thanks. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safe for long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Okay, well... Hines, we're right now going to use you to try to catch this encounter, next encounter. Up, oh, it's a dupe. We are, with this Nuzlocke, we are using the dupes clause, which means we cannot catch this Bidoof, because we already have a Bidoof. So unfortunately, we gotta knock it out. So I know there in this route is Shinx. There might be Badoo, uh, Badoo as well. Or I could be mistaken, it's just Shinx additionally. If it's just Shinx, Shinx additionally, then we pretty much are automatically getting a Shinx. But I think either way it'll be a decent addition because both grass. Well, grass be useful next gem, and Shanks is just a good Pokemon. Okay, well. We'll just do that. A Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so we battle we must. And I just realized I need to add. Hines. Angster Tristan with a Starly. Hines the Bidoof, who is level 3, I believe? Yeah. And has 16 HP. There we go. Uh... I actually don't, I just realized the overlay doesn't show the species. I don't, I, I want to overlay it so the species. It'd be nice for us to be able to see right off the bat what we have on the screen. So, uh, Uh, I don't like that. No, not that. Uh, we will use. This works. Let me just. Uh... Here, I will fix it. Where is it? Team. Oops. There we go. Much better. Okay. 
So now, also I just realized I am not using the root tracker. Let's cross off, uh, what roots did we, uh, I'll have to look at the map after. Uh, so Starly, let's just ember it. I don't think that uh, Chimchar's line gets fighting type until the final evolution of uh, Infernape. So that shouldn't be a problem for a while. Once that happens, we'll have to keep it away from birds. Um, uh, let's scratch. There we go. George is level 7. Lilise is level 4. And Heinz is level 4. Oh god, I didn't write down their HP changes. This is gonna be a lot to manage. <laughs> too strong, too strong! Okay, let's see. George has 24 now. Lalisa's level 4 with 18. And Heinz is level 4 with 18. Not at the same health. Okay. Uh, 